Hello everyone, Reza here. How about we have an approval dashboard wherein the user can take the approval decision for multiple approval tasks in one go. Yes, we'll make this possible directly from a power app. Let's check this video out in action. Power Automate Approval Dashboard. We can respond to approval actions, but one by one. What if I want to bulk approve or reject in one go? In my previous videos, I have shown how to create an approval dashboard in Power Apps and also how to respond to a single approval action directly from the app. However, now we'll take this one step further. The modern table control in which we have loaded all our approval tasks has a feature called enable multi-select. I'll set this to yes. Now the user has the option to select multiple approval tasks. And whenever there is one or more tasks selected, I make a container visible based upon the count of the selected items on the table being greater than zero. In here, I have a button called bulk approvals. This on click, I launch a dialog with the message take approval response for the three selected items. And here the user can respond to all the three selected tasks in one go. I'll say approve, plug in my commands, and when I hit submit, this is when I want to call a flow to complete those approval tasks. How do I build that flow? In Power Apps, we will go to Power Automate and create a new flow. Create from blank. I'll give this flow a name complete multiple approval tasks. The trigger, I'll add multiple inputs of type text. The first one, the approval data that I will pass from my Power App. This will include all the bulk selected items. Then I'll have a text that will include the approval response, approve, reject. Another text for the comments and another text that includes the environment in which those approval tasks were created. Now approval data will be passed as a string, but I would like to convert that to JSON. So I'll add a new step and use the compose action that I will rename to approval JSON data. This I will use the expression JSON with my mouse pointer right in the JSON function. I'll go to dynamic content and select approval data. Okay. This will get me the JSON object, which will be the array of data. New step apply to each for each of the outputs of approval json data which will be an array here i will go and invoke an http request the connector i'll use is http with microsoft entra id pre authorized i'll invoke an http request for the connection, for this connector, I'll add a new connection. Base URL has to be as follows, api.flow.microsoft.com. Resource URI has to be service.flow.microsoft.com. I'll sign in. Method, 
post url of the request api.flow.microsoft.com slash environments slash i need the environment information coming from my trigger input slash approvals slash i need the approval id that will be in this json to get the approval ID, I'll use the expression item of approval ID. This will be a part of the JSON array that I will pass from Power Apps to Flow. And right after this, slash approval responses body of the request. This is where I need an object properties. This will include two options in an object. The response in double quotes, I'll put the response that's being passed from the Power App, comma, commands. Again, in double quotes, this will be the commands being passed from the Power App. Close the object of properties. Done. That's my flow. I'll save the flow. The flow gets saved in Power Automate and the flow gets connected in my Power App. So now I can call this flow. Before calling this flow, my table items property comes from this collection of data. This includes approval ID. That's the key piece of information that I need. So when submit is clicked, first step is to call the flow. That's the name of my flow, which is complete multiple approval tasks dot run call the run method of the flow. The first parameter is approval data. This needs to be JSON data of the selected items of my table control. So for this, I'll use the function JSON. My table control, which is called table approvals dot selected items. The format will be JSON format dot include binary data. So that's my first parameter. Second parameter is the approval response that comes from my drop down control called DRP response. Then I need the commands, which is txt commands dot value. That's my text control. And finally, I need to pass the environment name that I will get from my environment drop down that I will get as follows. I'll close the run method format text here is my formula so let's give this a try i'm looking at the approvals that are assigned to me in the default environment i'll pick multiple items i'll go to bulk approvals so i've selected five i can respond to them in one go the options for these are either approve or reject i'll approve them put in my commands, submit. It triggers the flow. Here is the flow that gets called. It's running. For each of those five items, it goes and completes those tasks. Back to the Power App, if I refresh, all those five items will no longer exist because those tasks are completed. Bulk approval in action. This flow that we created, we can make it even more efficient. The apply to each loop, I can head over to settings and increase the concurrency to up to 50. What this does is it will run multiple threads. Imagine me selecting up to 50 tasks and submitting it to the flow. It will execute all of those 50 approval tasks in one go. When the user is taking the bulk approval decision, 
the response type has to be the same because I'm taking action in bulk. Notice here I have a special response type. I added custom options in the approval task. So when the user selects that, I can take my decision. If I refresh, this particular approval task has been completed. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.